you still haven't conceived, but you may be getting closer. This week, your body is busily laying the groundwork for ovulation, the all-important first step toward conceiving the baby of your dreams. And like those dreams, the baby action is all in your head right now or more precisely in your hypothalamus, the control center in your brain, which is currently working with its partner in reproduction, the pituitary gland, to start releasing a number of notable hormones. These hormones, called FSH and LH, prompt the ovaries to get cracking on some eggs, ripening one to maturity within its follicle. All this egg action causes the ovaries to crank up production of two other powerful hormones, estrogen and progesterone. These hormones, the dynamic duo of the reproductive system, tell the uterus to thicken its lining, forming a blood-pumped cushion in anticipation of hosting a fertilized egg. Midway through your menstrual cycle, around day 14 if you have an average 28-day cycle, ovulation occurs. The dominant follicle in the ovary swells and then ruptures, releasing the mature egg of the month. That egg bursts through the walls of the ovary and is immediately swept up into the fringed opening of the fallopian tube, where it spends the next five days traveling down to the uterus. And there will be quite a welcoming committee with millions of sperm making a beeline to meet that egg up through the cervix, into the uterus, and then onto the fallopian tube. One lucky sperm intercepts the egg and burrows into its outer layers. The sperm plunges into the egg's nucleus, releases its own genetic contribution, and baby bingo, the egg is fertilized and you're officially pregnant.